white, white squirrels. squirrels. You see, five years ago, I was out in the neighborhood milling around and I saw this. I was like, holy moly, that's a white squirrel. And I had never seen a white squirrel, it was pretty cool. And now I'm a little bit of an expert on white squirrels, so um, here's their story. So at first I was like, what's up with this white squirrel? So of course I did a little research online and I found that there's a few towns across North America that claim to be the home of the white squirrel. So the next logical step was to um, visit all those towns. We started the journey in Brevard, North Carolina, not just because we also live in North Carolina, but because it has an awesome gift shop allowing us to stock up on needed items for the trip. Saw and a Christmas tree ornament and a magnet. <laughs> We're spending more than $50 white squirrel uh, souvenirs. Now the odd thing is that most of the squirrels actually have a little bit of a black stripe on their backs, which to me seems to indicate they all might have come from the same genetic stock. Next stop, Exeter, Canada. Here we are in Exeter. White squirrels! Now what's cool in Exeter is that you actually have white squirrels living side by side with black squirrels. Next, Kenton, Tennessee. But the neat thing about Kenton is that the squirrels there are actually albino. Uh, so far I'm thinking Kenton has albinos. And albinos you can tell because of their red eyes. And fortunately in Kenton, uh, one of the locals was able to give me a preserved sample of a white squirrel. Of course taking a sample means you have to carry it around the country with you uh, for the remainder of your trip. It is a dead white squirrel! <laughs> and finally, Marionville, Missouri. It is the white squirrel capital of its own area. This was possibly the most enthusiastic white squirrel town we found to date. It's really neat for us to come and, and see your guys' squirrels, so yeah, if you guys have any questions, obviously we're here around, so. This is the Marionville gift shop. I'll never have wax build up in my ears. I can tell you guys are not into this hillbilly land stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Among other things, they proudly hold the white squirrel costume. You see, it was this town we found the mother load. We hopped in the old folks bus, drove around, and eventually we found the best location to find white squirrels. White squirrels were running around everywhere. And here in Marionville, the white squirrels are actually mostly white morphs. Now what I love about these white squirrel towns is that everybody has an idea of where their white squirrels come from. <laughs> one town, they apparently came off of a circus truck. Uh, one town was a bad scientist. Um, and then one town was just some crazy guy out in the woods that was breeding them. And now that actually brought up a lot of questions. So my research continued. I visited museums. I looked at the pelts um, from squirrels all over the country. I talked to other biologists. And I wrote an online article telling people to send me their white squirrel sightings. In the end, I got over a thousand thousand different reports and you can only imagine how many cool sightings I was able to see from people all over the country. Now the interesting thing is when I analyze the data. You see what I thought was going to happen is that these white squirrel sightings uh, were basically going to um, radiate out from these white squirrel towns, right? Turns out this white squirrel phenomenon was pretty randomly distributed across the country all covering the range of the eastern gray squirrel. But here are some of the neat things I found. First, 80% of the squirrels were white morphs. The rest are actually albinos with red eyes. Next, there's a white morph of the fox squirrel. And every so often there is just a crazy mix of white squirrels that have crazy coat patterns that I just cannot explain. So my goal with this research is just to answer a question I had so many years ago about this white squirrel phenomenon. Um, and of course it's not over, so this is where you can help. Since I can't go around the country looking at white squirrels all the time, um, they're really rare. You can tell me. If you've had a spot, then you can go to this link right here and you can tell me about it. Thanks for watching. White squirrels. Crazy. If you like that video, then stay tuned because I'm actually going to create some more white squirrel videos. I think it's really interesting, especially the genetics which we're analyzing up right now. Alright, we'll see you next week.